today's adventure begins here in Celebration, Florida. The bubble, if you will. We're taking the cart out today. Mini Marge, appropriately named. And I'll be heading to no man's land, Highway 192. I was reading up on some of the Florida regulations as far as these types of vehicles go. And if a sidewalk is wider than five feet, those can be driven on it. This one here is not wider than five feet, but some of the sidewalks that run parallel to Highway 192, I see these things traversing on very often. And I believe they're about six feet. So this is about five and a half feet from mirror to mirror, give or take. Might even be a couple inches more, but five feet from windshield to windshield there. So if it fits on the sidewalk, it is able to be driven on as long as I yield to those who are walking and slow down and let them go around. So I'm taking it out of the bubble today. As a recording of this is Friday, TGIF, January 5th. 2024. I also added another sticker here just to designate the mini Marge. Had a couple of these laying around so I threw one on the on the back. Gonna go get some coffee and then head out. I also discovered by reading up on some of the different technicalities that I can cross a highway. I can cross over Highway 192 if I do it at the light and my vehicle has the appropriate turn signals, lights, and I follow the traffic pattern at the light. Cannot drive down Highway 192. I can't go on a road more than 40 miles per hour with traffic, anything under that, street legal, but not on the highways. But I can cross over one of those roads to get to the other side. So it's gonna open up a whole can of worms. Oh, uh, take a look. They are taking down the tree. The holidays officially are over soon maybe in the next day or so i might be able to drive down market street that'll be exciting little doggies oh yes mobile order for the win so i'm gonna be venturing out there onto highway 192 but technically not onto the highway itself i'm gonna be taking a little bit of some expanded sidewalks and then from there onto surface streets that are under the speed limit of 40 miles an hour. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here, trying to get some usage out of the new Jim E2 that I purchased the other day. This will be the first time leaving Celebration and venturing out into the other, the other sections in the general vicinity. Got a full charge, well I had a full charge when I left, I've probably already driven a mile to Starbucks and another mile to here. I should be able to get 30 miles on a charge, so I should be I should be totally fine. I'm inviting you to join me as we venture down Highway 192 in a totally different vehicle than I've ever had before. Shall you? As of right now, I'm sitting at about 39 miles with just about a full charge. I imagine I'm probably going to lose one bar because I've already been driving a couple miles. We'll follow this as the day progresses. You take a look at this. This is like a seven or eight foot wide cart walkway sidewalk. And I honestly won't even be riding on these too much because once I get past little sections, I can veer off onto side streets, parking lots, things like that. Pretty dang awesome. Now I just veered off into another little section over here in front of the Staybridge Suites little gift shop, the backside of gift shops. Used to be a big hotel right here. In fact, there was one of the last times I frequented going to the property. There was a faux place, faux place. Also, I've been looking, across the speed bumps. I've been looking for a good faux place in the Central Florida, Orlando, Kissimmee, Celebration area. I have not found, my favorite faux place is in Buena Park, California, faux 21. But I have not found a place here. I feel like once I find a good place, that's gonna be my go-to, so I gotta be on the lookout. All right, I'm gonna cut through Old Town here in Kissimmee as well. Now, I'm not gonna ride up the main street, but traffic does cross, a, cross through this section. I wonder if I could drive down there. I don't think I'm going to, but I gotta read up on that. That'd be kinda neat. Yeah, how great are these like seven feet wide paths that 
run parallel to the highway. Perfect. It's kind of neat that the town, you know, the Kissimmee in general, even probably Orlando, even I Drive probably has them too. I don't know. I can't confirm that. But see, this is where the original sidewalk was, and this is only like three, maybe four feet across. But they had the wherewithal knowing that so many people are staying at some of the resort houses, trailers off property behind Old Town. They all have the golf cart life. And they built this six, seven, I didn't bring a tape measure, but with the cart being five feet across, and got a good two feet on the side. It's probably seven, seven and a half feet across over there, going all the way down 192. I consider this like, almost like in Super Mario Brothers where you have the warp, the warp tunnels because I'm not gonna stay on them very long. I'm just gonna stay for, you know, just to go from point A to point B to then just get on the you know, surface roads and parking lots and drive it around. Here's finally cleaning up the very last of the destruction over here. Cleaning it up, hauling it off. See you later. That took a little more than a week, a week from it being a standing structure to being torn down and hauled off. That's the last of it. I got to see the progress of it each day. Someone else got that cart life going on over there. Seen a few, especially when I was over by the Water Tower Plaza at that Publix. There was quite a few of them. All right, waiting up the light to properly cross over 192 here at Sherwood Forest in 192 light. And then I'm gonna go to the other side of Highway 192. All right, moving forward. You know, a memory just came back to my recollection right here at this Ichiban Buffet. My friend Justin Scard and I, years ago, years and years ago, I think it was, gosh, I don't even know what year it would have been, late 2015? Summer of 15, maybe. We were both in town. I was coming back to Walt Disney World for my first time in a while. I think it was 15. It might have been early 60. I think it was late 15. Summer of 15. And we just put out an impromptu. We only gave a couple days notice that we were going to do a meetup here at the Wizard gift shop. And it poured rain. And I don't know, maybe 30, 40, 50 people showed up. But we all stood right underneath there in the pouring rain. Those who know, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. It's a memory. It might be a memory for a couple people watching. Or maybe no one remembers. I remember that. Justin might remember too, possibly. That's iconic right there. I'm also really surprised that this is not painted yellow. So that's painted yellow. I'm not supposed to park here. I think that probably is supposed to be painted yellow, but it's not. Just for a moment. Grabbing the spot right there. Nailed it. The wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. It's true. It's true. Over here behind Longhorn Steakhouse. Is this motel even actually open? I think it might be. I think it's one of those, yeah, it's one of those developer ends. There's just so many hotels and mot motels through here. They just revamped this one. This is completely kind of fixed up. It's a newer, it used to be another motel and they changed that name and cleaned it up a little bit. Waffle House under construction next to the Big Orange. Big Orange still, last time I came by here, did not have the inside open yet. It's been about 10 months since the fire, but thankfully did not lose the building. I gotta say, I'm really loving this open air, slow pace commuting. It's just nice. Like one of my new favorite things to be doing. I've only done it a couple times, but I'm loving it so far. It also added the fact that I'm just fascinated by Highway 192 and doing this from a different, different vehicle. Slower pace kind of adds to it. A couple Indian food places over here where the Rock Church is, former Gladiators dinner show. There's one right over there, and there's also one over here. I'm gonna try both of those at some point. 
This used to be a bank. I noticed this the other day when I was driving by in my regular car. Now that I'm in the cart, take a look at this. Here's an old deposit box there, and then here's the teller window. Back in the day, relics. This is the back expansive parking lot where the Gladiator Dinner Show used to be. And it looked like they were doing something inside the Rock Church. They were doing some cleanup or something. Some of the people that, members of the church, the congregation. But there is a massive stench back here, almost like a sewage line busted or something. I mean, it is, I've never been all the way back here. I don't think anyone has a long time. Except for those dumping all these tires. I don't think you're supposed to be doing that, but yeah. Oh, look at this old timeshare. Also, look, there used to be like a little corral over there for animals. But there is a timeshare vacation home information pull behind cart. Yes, when you slow down and are able to drive into areas you don't normally, you normally wouldn't because you're going to go on a slower pace and a tinier, tinier little cart. You see things like this. Dang, how many creatures of the murky swamps you think are living down in here? Probably some gators, some turtles, maybe some fish, mutated fish. Take that, you mutated son of a bee. Sounded nothing like who I was trying to imitate, but yeah, you get the idea. Take that, you mutated son of a fish. <laughs> that was better. That was a better, better old man Peabody. Picture the swamp thing being in here. Look how it's like a little island of foliage has grown up in the middle. I should take out an inflatable canoe out on that bad boy. See what I can find. 2 a.m. Just a lot of land off of 192 that's not utilized. I mean, look at this. Look at this massive footprint of parking back here. Also, this has seat belt that has clamped it in. Granted, I'm not going that fast, probably don't need them, but it's not me I'm worried about. It's in case someone you know, hits the front and I go forward, I wanna have this kind of security, even though this is kind of loose, at least around the belt. The belt section will stop me from going forward. Now, I would imagine when they do the Rock Church, whenever they have that, uh, whatever their services are, this probably fills up a little bit, but I doubt it is as full as it did when it was the roadside attraction and the, the dinner show, but maybe, possibly. It's a big blue bus right here. You'll see it momentarily. Big blue bus. Yeah. Yeah, this is where the uh, the smell is. Potent. Big elephant door here. The loading in and out back when it was the dinner show. I really want to do a tour inside there. One day. I'd like to get in there when nothing's going on. He showed around. Have access, if that's, you know what I'm saying. Kind of do like a whole thing on the, the history of it. Or my hair is just in the breeze. It's a cool building, right? And then Hope Thrift is right there. All right, onto one of these seven or eight foot wide warp zone sidewalks. I run parallel just for a bit to get up to the next series of parking lots and streets. Yeah, I wish I could, I wish there was like a sensory smell sensory on here. Just to, just, just to project how, how badly it stinks in this little corridor. 
definitely something busted. This place is supposed to reopen too. It's called the Erlo, obviously named after the road's name, Erlo Bronson, also known as Highway 192. But it's been under construction for a long time. Now back in the day, back in the 90s, my mom, my dad, my sister, and myself came and visited Walt Disney World and we stayed at was a hotel here. I've told this story before, but my sister went out and went up and down each of the levels, took all the do not disturb signs off people's doors, took them back to our room and tried to give them to my mom. And I was like, go put those back where you found them. And then no one, she didn't remember what rooms they were put on. So she went and put them back on random rooms. She was very young and probably bored. Waiting, to, waiting for us to go the next day to Disney, but yeah, that's the story. That's a, that's, a, that's, my, that's a story of my a family vacation in the 90s. No, not even the 90s, the 80s. Not even the 90s. We moved here in 91, so this would have been, it would have been mid-80s. Mid to, yeah, mid-80s. Just past the golf cart, we just moved over to the side of each of them. We still fit, going side by side. That one's cruising down the opposite way. Cart corral. Cart corridor. Running parallel to Old Town now. Whoop, someone's on the Sky Coaster over there. Like all these side roads, surface street side roads, cart corridors. Stay off 192. Stay off of it. Just run parallel. Marker 9. Got the Lynx bus going by over there. Also, there is. Elvis and Maryland over here at Marker 9. World food trucks over in here. This place is always hopping. Two dollars to park over in this section at night is all the sign. Haven't been over here in a long time. In fact, the last time I was over here, this was a kind of a dead end down here. But now they have started building either a hotel or apartments up here. And Gaylord Palms, you can see it off in the distance way over there. I could probably drive over to Gaylord's. I think I drive might be the speed limit on that section of I drive over to Gaylord. It, I might be able to take this on there. This might be it might be under 35 or under 40. I'm not gonna do it today, but one day. big old empty parking lot over here, former shopping center, grocery store that no longer is here. Look at the checkerboard paintings here. This is all means no parking. This is a driving section. All right, I can see the speed limit sign over there. It says 45, so I cannot take the cart that way to Gaylord Pops. Not gonna do it. But can venture around here behind the backside of Walgreens. I don't need the toll road. I love the open air. I love having the breeze as I'm driving. Stopped off the convenience store, also home of Swirl World. No loitering, but you can park this over here and it's getting a little warm out, so I got a green tea. Yeah, I got a little, little mud on there. This thing has been, uh, this thing has been broken in. Oh yeah, I wanted to show this too. This is up on the, the roof here. The ceiling kind of looking up kind of gives the, the specs on it has a maximum speed 20 miles per hour not greater than 25 subject to driver citations for impeding traffic subject to other restrictions state local etc etc there you go closed gift shop closed hotel I don't know what, the, what they're doing with this thing. They've been working on it for a long time. Back around the turn of the century, late 90s into early 2000s, I worked part-time at a pool bar back here. Did a whole video on this before they started doing construction on it, which was sitting empty and desolate and not even being touched. I don't even know if it was even owned by anyone at that time. And no one had purchased it and started fixing it up, which it looks like now they are. But back then, when I was able to get in here and look around, you could still see the pool was over there, the pool bar was still over there. This has been probably five years ago when I got in, maybe four years ago when I got in there, three years ago. 
but right over there used to be the pool bar and the pool and the hot tub that I worked at back in the late 90s. Right adjacent to this place that is now closed also. Ah, 192. Here's the private security area. I don't know if there's anyone in there, probably not. Lots of park at your own wrist signs down 192. Look at this old lamp here. IHOP there is open. And I don't know about this 199 gifts place. Can't tell if it's open or not. Doesn't look like it does. From here you can see the water tower. Celebration water tower. This building here, this massive vacation condos over here, used to be where Arabian Nights used to be, dinner show, kind of like Medieval Times, but it was Arabian Nights. And the two horses, a little uh, a little stage right there, not stage, but the little pylon with the two horses, the mascots, if you will, used to sit, still there, right there. They have, they've, actually, I think, hold on one second. Yeah, look at this, it still says caution, Please do not hang on the statues. There's no statues there. They're all they're gone. See, so yeah, any of these places, I don't even have to drive my car. I can just take the cart over here. Oh wow, you got to be kidding me. So I don't know. Maybe a couple months ago, I did a little video where I walked around in here, the Orlando Sun Resort, and there was like holes all in the fences. Now the fence is just wide open. I'm gonna drive the cart up in here. Oh yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna drive right up in here. place just continues to get in more disarray than it was previ the previous visits. Definitely not going to get out and traverse around. I already did that, but yeah. It's just amazing that anyone could just drive up in here now. No signs, no nothing. right there. Back over into celebration now. That was fun. Yeah, it's safe to say that if I go to Old Town, let's say I go to another Saturday night cruise, or if I go to Old Town or anything, over in that area of Highway 192. I now know that I can get there on this, a lot of the restaurants in that area, anything that's farther, I know it's gonna be taking a chance on the battery, kind of croaking out or whatever. We'll not be doing that, but if anything, within a you know, the few square miles, easily could get to. Also, I wanna figure out a way to transport this thing to other spots, like maybe Fort Wilderness. I gotta get over to Fort Wilderness, maybe rent a cabin, do something like that and you take have this at Fort Wilderness. All right, 50 miles, so didn't go as far as I thought I was going to. I went pretty good ways. What did I start off at? 37, 39, 38. So I got I'm in my garage now, so it's a little echoey. Got it all charged up, it's charging. Use about half a half the half the the juice. i fill it up for a bit. And that's gonna do it for today. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. Okay, I didn't have it plugged in. Now I plugged it in. So it says ETR, I guess that means estimated time remaining to juice it up, maybe. Either way, it's charging. It plugs into the wall and then it plugs right into there, into that little mechanism here that just plugs in. And once it's juiced up, I unplug it and plug, you know, I don't keep it plugged in after it's full. I don't think you're supposed to.